This apes that if you bought at $300 a share back in 2021, and you aren't now averaging down at $4 or $5 a share. You have no idea what you're doing and deserve to fail. Real apes are buying AMC stock and holding. The apes says I have 6,000 shares now, average cost of $8.87 from 78. And now we'll continue to buy peace. Now it's a good point. A lot of us did buy AMC shares much, much higher with me being included in that. And at this moment, if you still believe in the stock, it could be a great opportunity to average down. Now that being said, be careful with what you do, of course, buy or sell your own risk in the market. But that being said, if you believe in a stock, it might be worth looking into the potential to average down your shares. Comment down below if you've been averaging down your shares as of recently. Our family Christmas was definitely sponsored by AMC Theaters. Love to hear that. Nothing says I love your company more than seeing the products in the hands of the loved ones. Cheers, a bam. And I want to add this into a video. Comment down below if you guys also saw some AMC Theaters products, gift cards, etc. underneath the Christmas tree in 2023. We do have some super, super huge breaking news from CEO Adam Aaron. He says, now at AMC US Theaters, AMC Cinema Suites, four absolutely delicious premium gourmet candies, chocolate covered pretzels, almonds, raisins, and peanuts. AMC Cinema Suites featuring a true high-end quality of chocolate, and there is more of it. Yep, more chocolate. Enjoy. So the AMC candy is finally on the shelves, and apparently it's not in every single theater yet. But soon enough it will be, which of course is going to only add more money to the bottom line when it comes to AMC come next earnings report. Comment down below for one if you've seen the AMC Cinema Suites in real life yet, and of course if you have been lucky enough to try it, let us know how it tastes. This year's thing guys definitely beat last year's numbers, I'm excited to see Willy Wonka on top of that. Looking at the total gross for the box office, 8.2 plus billion as of right now, and it's only going up. The fundamentals are changing, the narrative is changing. It's only a matter of time, apes. This apes it back to the basics. The stock price is fake. Fundamentals drive stock prices in the long run. AMC is getting stronger every quarter. We are on a positive trajectory and will continue to thrive as a business. I sure think so. And listen to these key takeaways. This is basic, basic stuff, guys. Stock prices are driven by a variety of factors, but ultimately the price at any given moment is due to the supply and the demand at that point in time in the market. Fundamental factors drive stock prices based on a company's earnings and profitability from producing and selling goods and services. Technical factors relate to a stock's price history in the market pertaining to chart patterns, momentum and behavioral factors of traders and investors. It's basic, it's true, at least that's what I believe in. When AMC runs to $720 a share, it's really just $72 a share. When it runs to $2,000, remember, it's only $200. When AMC runs to $5,000 a share, it's just like the GME FOMO buying at 500 per share. None of these will be the start of the MOAS, at least not what the Zape thinks. Comment down below the price that you think is going to be the actual absolute start of the MOAS. We have a headline from the mainstream media. This is what I'd love to see. It says Taylor Swift Eras Tour is the highest grossing domestic concert film ever. Enough said apes. This ape says what's the difference between all these stocks below an AMC stock? And this is in regards to all these different retail stocks that are down quite a bit from all-time highs. Now keep in mind, AMC stock is down quite a bit, but look at all these different companies that are down so much from all-time highs. The market melted up like crazy over the last few years, and because of that, a lot of the different high-quality names have been beat up quite a bit. It doesn't mean that all these different stocks are going to stay down forever. It means that some of the higher-quality ones will probably have a lot of upside potential from here. Now that being said, when it comes to AMC, only AMC has four plus million retail investors. Only AMC has a on-balance volume of over 12.2 million. Only AMC retail investors own over 85% of the entire float. Only AMC owns a gold mine. Only AMC partnered with both Taylor Swift and Beyonce just as a start. Only AMC has quarterly revenue that exceeds their entire market cap. Only AMC has other partnerships with popcorn and Visa credit cards. And only AMC has the apes. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.